Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario 64. I'm Lucas Let's Plays, and in the last episode we stormed the Cooper Rose Fortress and finally fought them and all that stuff, and it's actually almost been two months since I've recorded this game or uh, yeah, anything in general on my channel. And I do apologize for that, but the reason being is because the same thing happened last time. The same thing happened, uh, what, which is what happened last time. I can't speak today. But, um, anyway, the program just, like, it stopped working on my computer. But my, bro my brother let me borrow his computer for now. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'll be able to record for the summer. Because I just finally got on summer break for school. My I got out last Thursday, so it's almost been a week since then. And yeah, it's, it's really cool, and I plan to record a lot this summer. And I have more coming than other than just this. And yeah, so I hope you guys are excited for that. And I'm going to try to fight all of these guys here with Cooper, and I'm kind of scared. I don't know if I can do it. If I can't, if I'm not up for it, I'll just run from the battle, because it shouldn't be too hard. I hope not. But let's see. I, I don't know if Cooper will flip all of them over. But he'll definitely do some damage to them, let's see. Yeah, he flipped the Koopas over. And he killed the Goombas, which is really good. Oh, never mind, he didn't flip that Koopa over. I was saying flip the Cooper over because his name is Cooper. So it's kind of funny, it's like a tongue tongue twister. That's what, that's what they're called, right? I don't know why, I was thinking of saying twist, twist tongue, I don't know. I'm just slurring all my words today, it's weird. Well, not slurring, I don't know what you would really call that. Just like messing up your words. I don't know, I'm just kind of nervous because I haven't recorded in a long time. And I'm usually not like that, but it's okay. And I'm just gonna heal up because we lost like five hearts there. So let's go back here. And so, not sure if you guys know, if you watched the last episode, then you definitely know that that was the longest video on my channel ever. It was 11 hours long. And there was only like 20 or 20 minutes or so of gameplay, like 23 or something like that. And then it just stayed at a still picture after that for like uh, over 10 hours. I don't know why. Something happened in the process of editing, and it took me a while to edit that video just because of that one thing. And it was just kind of annoying and a pain, so I didn't want to take it down just because it was 11 hours. But some of my friends actually watched it, and they they were kind of confused. So I don't even know how it happened, but. You know, I can't record that again, like, I can if I want to, I could restart, but I, I'm, I really don't feel like doing that, because it was just a pain to get all that recorded and then, and then edited and uploaded, and it's been almost two months since then, so I, I was, I really felt in the mood to record, I could have done it yesterday, but like, I was, I was with, with my cousins, and I could have done it if I wanted to, but it wouldn't have been good, and I really didn't feel like doing it then, but now I'm feeling it, and hopefully I can bring you guys more content during this summer. I have more stuff planned, like um, a new co-op Let's Play, which will be my second, third one on the channel, even though the first one was never finished, and I've talked about that before, so I, I don't remember which episode it's in, but you can you can go check. And, and we're actually doing pretty good against these guys. What was I going to say? Yeah, I have another um, co-op Let's Play planned, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the last one, Mario Kart 64, with my friend Eric. I thought that was really fun. Even even though it was short and there was kind of a lack of content, we didn't do that much. Well, we actually kind of did most of the game. We did all of the cups and then battle mode. We just didn't do versus or time trials because those were kind of pointless. Or I thought they were pointless. And I'm just going to try to dodge these enemies here. Let's see if we can get this. Yep. And... Oh no. Get away, please. Spiky Goomba, Mr. Guy. Get out of here. So... Yeah, chapter one's finally finished, and I didn't think... Well, actually, I thought it would be done a lot faster than that, because I started this Let's Play in December, and it's been six months since then, pretty much. It's June now. I thought I would upload a lot faster, but, like, at the rate we're going at for episodes, like, this is episode 10, I didn't think we'd be done by then. Like, I thought it would take a lot longer. So, I may not get this Let's Play done, like, in terms of uploading, but, um... Like, with episodes, I don't think it should take that long. And I plan to, like, up again, upload other things alongside this. So this should be going on for, like... Uh, hopefully I can finish it soon, because, like, I don't want to... I don't want it to be all I do. And anyway, here we got a little cutscene thing. Hold it right there, Mario. I've been wa I've been waiting for you. 
Like I said, I've been watching for you. I've been watching you. I told you I'll be back. Now I'll get my revenge. <laughs> Here it comes, baby. Check this out. Got Junior Troopa again. Duah! He fell into the river. Clumsy little chicken nugget. <laughs> you guys don't know where that's from. Check out Kobana Mario 456. Mario, I'm talking to you. I promise you, this fight will be much different from before. Who is this crazed guy? What a nut. See, even he knows, even Cooper knows. It's just a nut. Shut up. You? Mario? Of course you remember me. Nope, I don't think I do. <laughs> I actually don't. No, I, I'm joking. I actually do remember him, but I just wanted to see what he would say. What? Darn it. You don't remember me? Listen, you, you big lug. I said big thug. My name is Junior Troopa. Remember it and tremble. After this, beating you, beating you will definitely remember it. I like the music, it's kinda cool. And this is just his theme, this isn't like the mini boss theme or anything. You've heard the mini boss theme before, like in the in the fortress, but this is just his theme. Which I think is really cool and they just give a character his like own fight theme in RPGs like that and stuff. Get ready to hurt Mario. I'm gonna show you a new skill I just picked up. What's that? Turn into an egg. Yeah, check that out. You've never seen anything like that before, have you? The attacks are useless now. We'll see about that. Um, wait, do I still have... Oh, and never mind, that was in the last recording. Sorry, I was... It's because I put Hammer Charge on in the last recording. And this is a new recording, so... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I explained that. This is the second time that I'm going... Uh, that I'm doing this. But I didn't get that far in the in the first recording. I only got, like, two minutes in. <coughs> like, I didn't get up to here. But let's see, um... Okay, let's tattle with Goombario. What's his name? Junior Troopa? I don't remember exactly. Just joking, kid. Max HP 15, attack power 2, defense power 1. He looks so adorable hiding in his egg, doesn't he? So cute. It should be a snap to beat him now, I think. Wait, what? But my hammer didn't even work. Can I, like, power jump him? Mario stomps on a single army. Okay, let's try it. Okay, that worked. Good. Uh, and that popped him out of his egg. Yeah, who knew that Mario had such battle skills? It's not over yet, though, yeah. I don't know why I gave him that voice. <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. Okay. <coughs> I've, I've been talking a lot right now. So, I just have to, like, let a little cough. Um, but... I wonder if Headbonk does anything to him. Nope. I'm pretty sure Bombette will, though. Some, some people say Bombette, I've heard other people say Bombetti, but I'm not really sure, like, I'm pretty sure if it were Bombetti then there would be a Y at the end, because that just makes more sense to me. And we're gonna explode on him right now by using a bomb. Don't know if you can hear my controller in the background, I was pressing A really repeatedly, just as it said to. Oh man, I missed that dodge, because I was talking too fast. Um, power, wait, do we have enough? Okay, we have enough. Power jump, just need two more. Okay, let's see if Body Slam works. Boom. Okay, yeah, we can just, uh, we can just Body Slam as Bombette one more time, and that should do it. Here we go. And, yeah, we beat it, I think. I haven't played this in a while. No, actually, yeah, that is it. So, um, what, do you have any more words? Ah! Okay, that's it then. Okay, so what I wanted to bring up, which is what I brought up in the last recording for like the first minute, um, is... Never mind. After this cutscene. Mario! You know, you know, you know who it is from the music. Mario, Mario, it's me, Twink, remember me? She went through puberty. <laughs> I heard you saved the Honorable Star Spirit who was captured by the Koopa Bros. Is your grandfather or something? Seems like it would be. Father and it's getting so angry about it. I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way. You bet. Wait, did they say you're instead of you are? It's supposed to be an apostrophe in the middle. Oh, whatever, it's a Mario game. But enough celebration for now. I come bearing important information for you. Seems that one of the Star Spirits is being held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote in his diary, please, some place called Dry Dry Ruins. The princess braved the dangers of the castle to get you in, to get you this clue, Mario. If we find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to Her Highness now, she's so brave. I hope this news helps. If she's so brave, why doesn't she just break out of the castle herself then? She can never fend for herself, like seriously. Hello Mario, yes, I wanna take my body and soul in the bed. Yep. Yeah. Well... So anyway, what I was, uh,
talking about before was that a lot of stuff happened while I was gone, like the past two months or so. Um, and one of them is actually that Nintendo is teaming up with... I'm gonna save right here right now. Nintendo is, believe it or not, teaming up with Universal Studios to build their own theme park. So, hey mister. My dad's opened his shop. Didn't you want to take... Don't you want to take a look? It's really cool. It's a bad shop for badges. Come on, check it out. Funny story, actually, when I first played through this game, I thought these guys were bad guys just because they look so sketchy and shady. Uh, but yeah, they, they end up owning a shop. But d don't they just look like they would be like sort of villains, like underlings for Bowser or something? I don't know, that's just what I think. We have lots of rare badges, so take a very close look. You only have three, that's not a lot. First attack, let's Mario destroy a weaker enemy with the first strike. That's pretty good. Uh, does it say how much BP it has? No. Increase the distance Mario can spin dash. Um, oh, that's, that's that thing. Uh, I guess that would be faster, but uh, that's not really that useful because it's still pretty fast anyway. And then this thing is multi-bounce. Jumps on all enemies in a row um, if action command is timed right. That one is good, but... Hmm... I don't know, I have 151 coins, which one, which one do I want? I don't really like fighting enemies that much, it's like, it's like running into wild Pokemon in Pokemon. I think I'm gonna get multi-bounce, just cause this one's really useful. Uh huh, I knew it Mario, I knew you had a keen eye for badges, that's a good one. 75 coins for multi-bounce. BP in an order, oh really, you only need one? Heck yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Took away like half of my, I was about to say half of my allowance, but no, half my coins. Um... Where do we go to? Didn't it just say? Yeah, right here, multi bounce. So yeah, anyway, um, Nintendo building their own theme park with Universal Studios. How crazy does that sound? Like, there's so many possibilities for this, and like everybody got so hyped when they announced this, like about a month ago, I'm guessing. I think. Um. So yeah, my comment question of the day for you guys, or question of the video, I guess, because I don't upload these daily. Um, is what are your ideas for some rides or attractions that they could have for a Nintendo theme park at Universal Studios? I'll pitch some of mine to you guys right now. I think it would be cool if they had like a... Uh, I don't know if you know about those swing ride things, but... Oh, pipe opened. Uh, but those the swing rides like at the livestock show, if you know what that is. But instead of having swings, they could just have you ride on Yoshi's and they would go all around. Or like a merry-go-round with Yoshi's or something like that. That would just be really cool in my opinion. I want a little today. Good luck, Mario. Thanks, Toad. You know, I haven't seen that old Koopa Troopa lately. He came here often, but he always lost a bundle. Wait, are you talking about Cooper? I don't know, let's see. You know, no, that's not him. Okay. So, yeah, that, w that would be something really cool. Another thing would be like a Kid Icarus ride where you like, go, you burst into the skies, and then you go underground, like into the underworld and all that. And then it could be like indoors and outdoors and everything. That would be really fun. Okay, what's this? Results for jump attack. Times played. Oh, you have to talk to the toad on this side. So yeah, what are your ideas? I'll I'll give you some more and like after we talk to these people. Hello there, Mario. Welcome to the playroom. To play here, you need a member credit. Oh, fancy. The kind of game you can play depends on the kind of member credit you have. Whatever. Fancy old rich people or toads, I should say. So, what other rides they, could they do? They could do like Bowser's Castle, like where he has like uh like a uh, flaming fleet and everything, there could be like fake fire, like th all the animations and gas and steam and smoke effects that they have that they could use, that would just be so awesome. Welcome to Toad's <coughs> famous little oink farm. Hit the bar overhead, pay 10 coins and wait for the egg. Hit it with the hammer and hatch the little oink. Try to find out what kind of little oink will be born. I've been watching those adorable little oinks. Be careful though, if someone gets inside the fence, all the little oinks will run away. You can have a maximum of 10 little oinks on the farm. When the eleventh little oink enters, the first will leave. Now try to see all of the different types of little oinks. If I had a dollar for every time that said little oink. Where did it say we hit? Right here? Oh, here comes Toad. <coughs> I love little oinks. Love them. You? You wanna learn about them? No thanks, I just read about it. Okay, if you blah blah blah. <coughs> Where did it say to hit it? Oh man. Is it over here? So confused, man. Um, we go up here. What the hey? Or is it right here? Oh, is it? Oh, it's that thing. 
I thought it said hit it with your hammer. I was... That confused me. There's too much dialogue in this game. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, so you hit this with your hammer. There you go. <coughs> and then the egg hatches and goes into there. Okay, I'm not going to waste all my money on that. So, uh, before we end off the episode, yeah, comment question. What uh, themed rides do you think they could have at the Nintendo Amusement Park? Like I said, the, they could have the Yoshi Gura and the Kid Icarus ride, and then maybe Bowser's Castle. They could also have Peach's Castle as a ride, like, from Super Mario 64. Or, like, from the Mario Circuit track in Mario Kart 7. It works. I think it would work really well, just, like, going inside the castle and through the paintings and everything, like, with the animations that Universal Studios does. That would just be so cool. Um, so, yeah, um, in the next episode, we're gonna head on over to Chapter 2, which will be explained later, but, uh, first, if you talk to one of the Toads, he would say, like, oh, we can't move the train because there's a rock in the way. And it just has a crack in it, so it's a pretty obvious puzzle. You just need to break the rock with Bombette. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. So, I will see you guys. Okay, this is getting awkward. Um, it's just because I thought there would be a save point there. So, while I'm going over here, I guess I could think of other Nintendo rides that they could do. Um, if you know Super Smash Bros. Melee, there's a stage in there called Pokey Folks, where there's like a bunch of, like, stuff, not stuffed animals, but like, a bunch of giant floats of Pokemon. And I was thinking like, in the, at Schlitterbahn, they could have, they had like, giant things in the rapids, and they could just have this floating around, just like as tubes or little float things. So yeah, that's pretty much all my ideas, and this is it for the episode. And next time we'll go into Chapter 2, and find out what's up over there with the train and stuff. So, I'll see you guys then. Later. Peace out, guys. Bye. Luke's Let's Plays out.